Now let us see the last of the trigonometric identity. I mean there can be other variables that you can derive but insofar as I am concerned I am just taking three of these. Two we have already discussed. This is the third one. Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so in a right angle triangle, we know that the hypotenuse square, which is AC, AC square, is equal to perpendicular square AB square plus base square. Right? So in two of the earlier videos, I divided all the sides by first by AC square and then by AB square. Now let's try about AC square sorry this is BC square so dividing by BC square both the sides so the simpler one we get one here this can be written as AB upon BC whole square because we have AB square upon BC square and similarly this can be written as AC upon BC whole square right now what is AC upon BC whole square we know that BC upon AC is what? BC upon AC is sine A. Right? So AC upon will BC will be what? Cosec A. Right? Whole square is equal to AB upon BC. AB upon BC. Again, this seems to be a little in the reverse order because we know that BC upon AB is equal to tan A. So AB upon BC will be what? Cot A or you can say that cosec square A is equal to cot square A plus 1 and this gives you your third trigonometric identity right